Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one and only Great Dane. Happy New Year, guys. It's 2023. And, of course, we're back with a new season of Brawl Stars. I'm gonna be completely honest, I already forgot what season we're on, but that's because there's been a lot of seasons. And a lot has happened this past season, so there's a lot to talk about. Um, so, hang on. I hope I'm not too laggy, is the thing. So it's always trying to get this system to work right. But I know this season is uh, the season of Candy, or Candy Kingdom, or Kingdom Candy something. There, There's a lot of candy going on, apparently. That That's what I know. And there's a new character called Mandy, who sells candy? It has something to do with Star Park, but I'm not particularly sure what it it is that it has to do with it. I'm sure the game will load up any second now. Any second now. Well, this also gives me time to talk about the new things coming to the game that aren't here quite yet. So obviously there's the new character Mandy to have a look at, but also apparently there are new character masteries that should be coming to the game anytime now based on the recent Brawlies video, which I will try to leave a link in the description with the rest of the new season update video stuff that I usually leave a link to in the description. Hmm. Game's really not budging. Might just consider restarting it, honestly. It's like completely frozen. Any time now. Got the blue circle of death. Oh boy. I don't know how the heck it's so laggy right now. What is happening? Okay, some something's finally happening now. Is is the game finally loading now? What on earth? Tablet. This is a computer, sir. This is Patrick. <laughs> what what? Okay, we're just gonna, you know what, guys? We're just gonna try it again. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we clicked on it. It's loading now. Hey, guys, it's your homeboy, the one and only Great Dane, back with a new season of Brawl Stars. If it loads this time. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking, guys. Okay, still, still weirdly laggy. Okay, we're we're doing this again. Epic loading screen we got here for the new season. Got that new Daryl skin coming out soon. New Nita skin. Oh god, this music. Uh, oh no! God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything. Everything is horrible. Oh god. Oh god, they changed the loading music too. It's time for trouble. Oh thank god for the connection reload, guys. I was, why do they not change it so that you can skip unlocking the star points? I hate that so much. Also, I need to I need to turn this down. At least on my end, I I'm not a fan of whatever this is. Lyrics, guys. Besides the um, the like s 
Splashdown or Summer update with Buzz. I think this is the only other one to have lyrics in it, and I really don't care to pay attention <laughs> to whatever they're saying. No! Ugh. Man, I can't catch a break today. Are you friggin' kidding me? I was so confident I got to skip out on this. My ears are bleeding, guys. And they only keep adding more brawlers, and they're- Oh god, why? Come on! <laughs> Ugh. It, it just, like, I know they switched it to the reset to the end of season, but it's just, it's still so gosh darn annoying. It's almost 8,000 star points I'll be getting per season, probably more after I rank up this new, oh my god. It's like... I'm I'm at a loss for words for how to describe what I'm even looking at right now. What is this? Apparently this is supposed to be a lore heavy season. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna try to take a little bit more time to talk about things. I actually should have more time today. Because I have the day off after it's not even a day it's the second day after New Year's, but I have it off anyway for some reason. Uh just have a few thirteen hours. No, that's not important. Uh, I'll be getting club tokens. I, it's not important, but I just want to say... If you have... Well, I gotta go into the brawlers to even show you guys, but... I told my club this, if they didn't know. Wait, no, what? Guys, I think I'm high right now, because... As you guys can see, there's clearly a max of 4,000 power points. And I have 4,010. Nothing is making any sense right now, but you know, that that's okay. Anyway, so even though you're only supposed to have max 4,000, once that happens, you can no longer buy power points in the club shop. I think I'll probably just save up for Pizza Oven Ash here because it's more worth it to buy the points than it is to buy the coins, but obviously once you have everything upgraded, you might as well get the coins at that point, I guess. Unless you want to save up, but you know, that's up to you, because... Seriously, I kid you guys not, the one season I finally started buying, like, power points to upgrade brawlers before the whole box thing happens, that's when they released Pizza Oven Ash, and I was, oh my god, I was so frustrated, because, of course, once I spend the 2,500 I've been saving, they release the skin, but, you know, that's, it's wonderful. Okay, man, I, I'm so flustered right now. So... Besides everything that just happened on the screen, and I, I have a hunch as to why I have 4,010, and I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a second, but I really like last season. It's hard for me to say that I like last season because a lot of things on last season were things that kind of connect to this season, but they always release that update before the new season drops, so technically it's part of last season, so I can't really say anything about this one yet. I, I'm not a fan of the theme. I don't know. Maybe it's too much candy in my eyeballs. I don't know. Rainbows everywhere. I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, anyway, let's find out what the heck this season even called. Just Candyland. It's like the board game, I guess. Um, oh, okay. I didn't know Gummy Bernita was part of the past. Then again, I really haven't looked into it too much. I haven't really been paying attention. So we're on season 16 already, guys. Can you believe it? Okay, well, let's... Come on, people! Get a move on! Okay, we got the epic animation here. I have a feeling I'm much better going to, like, whatever this version of Mandy is. I, I haven't really paid attention. Okay, let's do this. Epic animation. Gummy Bear Nita. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Ooh, it comes with a custom pin, that's nice. Let's get some free promo credits. If I already have all the brawlers, I could save chroma credits, but I don't know if I want to, considering I don't know when the next brawler is coming Sugar out. Rush, crash! Cause I already have Chester, who's another significant brawler who's supposed to be for this season, even though he released last season, if you guys are even trying to pay attention. So we have Magma Mandy here. It's, it's 
like, God, it's it's like looking at a Splatoon character. <laughs> I, I definitely th feel I'm gonna like that one more, but we'll see in a second. Let's see what the Power League skin is. Pinata. So manky. Guys, we have <laughs> we have so many Ash skins. I, I really like the Christmas skins they came out with. I, I love the free original Shelly skin we got last season. But look look how many Ash skins we have, guys. This is crazy. I just Meet got a new Ash house. skin. Because I really... I think I... um I bought all of the Chris new, like, dark... We have dark Raw Day skins that came out. I, I thought they were all pretty cool. Um, I don't have a lot of the Ash skins, but right now we have... Ash, Ninja Ash, Krampus Ash, Pinata Ash. I'm sure there's another Ash somewhere in the shop, but there, there are still skins, or sorry, there are still characters that like only have silver skins. But there, there's Ash over here with like five. It's ridiculous to me. Like, Useful? maybe come up with a new Eve one. skin or something. I don't know. Like this one's pretty basic. I just call it the strawberry, but I'd like to see some other characters get some skins. Pinata Ash looks fun, but I don't know. I, I just, we need different character skins, guys. Come on. Okay, let's have a look at the shop. Come on, jackpot. Uh, what's that? New spray for crow? Not really a thing. Um, here are the other skins that were in the loading screen that I was talking about. They're not even available. I don't think I want whatever these are. When I'm Ugh, I don't want to die to this in the game, guys. It hurts to look at, okay? Buzzette? No, please. Okay, well... Okay, I guess that's the token doubler standard. I was hoping I'd get the jackpot. Nah, I'm just doing this a video. It feels like a stream. I've been rambling way too long and the program failed to load the first time. I'm just glad I got the season theme to still load up because it didn't even register. The whole friggin' system had to restart. That that is my life right now. But I think things are going to be a lot better moving forward, guys. And I'm really excited for whatever this channel holds. I guess you could say. Uh, I haven't even oh, bought Inspector Colette. Might as well. I don't know. Probably could have done that before. I think I like that skin. I remember from last season I said I like that skin more than the other one, even though it was a quick review. Okay. So is the season worth it, first of all? Let's let's actually look at the Brawl Pass, because again, I really like last season. There's a lot that went on. We got the new character Grey. We got Chester, let me talk about them quick. So Grey's uh, I got the new runway gray skin here too. I, I think it looks pretty cool. I like it adds some color to the skin, especially since gray is literally just gray pretty much, except for maybe like a stick. So, he's a very useful brawler, especially with his gadget and new star power that came out just recently. He, some people are arguing he's pretty darn overpowered in 3v3 modes, especially. Um, so, he's, he's a bit of a higher skill character, and you have the complete opposite here, Chester, which I also got the skin for. Find an unhealthy amount of skins recently, I feel like. But if you guys know chaotic neutral, Chester is like the chaotic chaotic. There's and this description's really weird here. It's what's in the box, limitation of liability under no circumstance shall Star Corporation or its affiliates, partners, suppliers, or licensors be liable for any indirect incidental something. Um so obviously since he was supposed to come out this or he's connected to this season more than last one. There's something weird going on with Star Corporation this season, so I look forward to seeing if there's any like things going on as the season progresses. So <laughs> Mindy's an interesting character. I'm trying to determine if like I only had enough gems to buy this one season if I if I would consider. Cause I, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm a fan of this whole theme, necessarily. I mean, it's different, it's fun, but... I don't know if it's me personally, guys, you know? Like, I'm, I'm sure there's someone here that's really enjoying this. I just don't know if it's me. Uh, so, let, let's let's start with Mandy. So, I've technically already tried her in the training ground. She's just pretty interesting. Her super is really interesting. I don't even really look at it. Mandy is my name. Sweetness, my game. 
so it's like a little princess queen person, but she's most comparable to Piper, I think. I think she actually has more range than Piper, but only when she's standing still. But it charges up pretty fast, so you could just like hide in the bush and just get some crazy far shots on it. It's hard to even show it. I don't, I, I'm gonna have to run all the way to the side here. Like, look at the range on Mandy. That, that's the crazy thing. She can nearly reach the whole other side of the map just by standing in the corner. And, like, looking up, I, it's hard to even see where you're shooting. That, that is one thing that's gonna bother me a little bit about Mandy is she has so much range, in fact, that it's it's hard to even see what it is you're shooting at necessarily. That that could be helped if you know where, like, if you know the map really well and you could guess where they're hiding. You you can pull some pretty crazy trick shots off. And if you guys really want to see something, wait till you see this. You ready? You guys ready for this? You you see that? <laughs> 20,000 damage per second, and the fact that my super is still full. Do you guys know what that means? This super can shoot across the entire map. It goes through walls. This is... This super... This super alone is what makes this character insane. It's got this whole... area damage craziness going on, so... I don't know about her normal mechanic, she does a pretty basic amount of damage, she does the same amount of damage regardless of the wind up. She takes a different animation stance, it's nice when she charges up. But again, the, the super is the thing that really makes Mandy here, so let me see if I can get a look at the star power gadget for her so far and see how significant it is. Candy from a baby. I think Mandy is definitely the best thing to buy this pass for, because again, that super is going to be a lot of fun to play with, I think. Mandy's next candy from her candy dispenser. I'm guessing that's her gun? Mandy's next candy from her candy dispenser slows down enemies on hit for 2.5 seconds. I'd say that's very significant in, like, solo showdown. Mandy shoots her candies with 20% more speed while focused. Okay, so that makes her whole thing more significant. That, that, that'd be nice to have, but I wouldn't say a steel breaker. The gadget, I think, is pretty significant. Okay. So... Let me, let's have a look at Gummy Bear Nita. Maybe it has cool animations, at least, hopefully. I already went the wrong way. I can't even figure out my own organization, guys. <laughs> Of course, just break out the pin. Okay. This is going to be interesting, I'm sure. Oh, that's weird. I don't. <laughs> God, the, all the sound effects and, and the visuals in this update are just so crazy. They did a really nice job on getting this weird imitation gummy feel on the character. I'll, I'll give them that much. The, the animation is very noticeable. Very noticeable. The sound effect is different. I don't, I don't know if... God, God, even the little, like, characters... See-through... I, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this whole character, but it does have really cool animation. I gotta give him that much. Okay. You know? Very unique Nita skin. I will say that much. Okay, let, let's have a look at the other magma <laughs> candy here. Like taking candy from a baby. We like candy! <laughs> Not. So are they quote unquote exclusive skins because they had that whole debacle about exclusivity. Are they worth it? So it, it's like a fire instead of the candy. I don't know if it left like a trail or something, it might be like more noticeable. It's 
I'd say it's less impressive than the Nita skin. The look is definitely noticeable though to the regular Mandy skin. Let's have a look at the super, that's what I'm interested at. Okay, so it's more like a meteor than this whole rainbow thing. I definitely probably prefer this skin to the original. Obviously, I have the Brawl Pass. So I'll get it at some point. And I'm, I'm kind of sad they didn't do more with this whole magma feel. Because if you notice that her feet, she's kind of like a Splatoon character. And if you guys remember the Shelly skin uh, from like Once Upon a Brawl. Mandy is my name. She had this. Like, you notice how she has the regular smoke effects at her feet? I really wish that was lava splashes. That would make this character. That would make this character, and I hope they change it. If, if Brawl Stars is paying attention, because I'm referring to this skin, Princess Shelly. She has this very unique thing where she leaves the glass slippers behind, like Cinderella. Let's go get him! It's not, it's not the regular smoke, guys. It, it's she, Every now and then, she leaves like a glass slipper behind. Did they change it? Well, it, it's definitely different. I'm wondering if they made it... I swear it used to drop a lot more. I'm wondering if it's just the fact that I'm playing on a computer. I don't know. But I, I definitely think you guys probably get what I'm saying. They, they could, if they would add lava to the Magma Mandy, that'd just be so cool. Because I, in terms of actual quality and the and uniqueness of the skin, Magma Mandy feels more like a general darker skin. Well, Gummy Bernita is. I almost want to argue Gummy Bernita is the whole reason to buy this pass, guys. It's just such a unique skin, and it's very, very noticeable. I, I don't really want to talk about the shop skins, it's especially the Buzzed. Like, Buzz is my favorite character, but I, it hurts to look at that. <laughs> okay, um, so I guess the last thing to do would be... Beyond. This looks very interesting, and I don't know <laughs> what I'm looking at. It's, it's just... God, what is this, you know? Like, I don't know. I'm interested to see if it really does like the four-legged animation in the game. Oh my I've god! <laughs> what the heck? Bro, he just does the constant swinging of the mace there. What in the Lord's name? This, this might be my favorite Ash skin just because of how ridiculous it is. It really, it really is just like two guys in a horse suit. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta see what his rats are. Pinata ass. And, and the best part is you guys can get this for free. You don't even need the brawl pass. You just gotta, you just gotta play Power League. It's awesome. The, this Pinata Ash and the Gummy Bear Nita are very cool skins this season. I, I'm I'm not a fan of the theme outright, like this, this isn't something I would choose, but they did a nice, a really nice job on those two skins. Okay, the, uh, the other thing, I gotta make sure, the, I am holding on to Chroma credits. That is something I'm doing. Cause, it, well, I don't know. Is there a point to having Chroma credits? Cause you use Chroma credits, like if I unlock to consider because this is the whole point of the whole new box thing so so I get chroma credits but once I get to tier 30 I still unlock her right or, but do I still need to buy her for chroma credits that that's what I'm not so sure of unlock at tier 30 of the brawl pass yeah, so I, I reasonably should, as if I always buy the Brawl Pass, then reasonably I will never need Chroma Credits, if I'm understanding correctly. Which is really interesting. 
So the whole big thing, I think, and to finish off the video here, is the whole fame thing. So far, I've reached global fame too. I'm sure there's somebody that's ahead of me somehow. But if you're really try hard about this and you want to get the most fame possible, you have to play Map Maker. And that's going to sound really strange if you guys haven't seen one of my other videos where I've talked about how to maximize like your rewards and stuff. And it's not because of the quests. It's because every time you play, and specifically the candidate of the day, or the candidates, or whatever weird map you get, they're usually kind of strange. Uh, but whatever you get, as long as you play the map and finish the match, you get 10 extra, um, whatever they're called here, it'll tell me, tokens. So you get 10 tokens, and you can do that three times every day. Not, you know, that's only 30 tokens, like, that, that's hardly anything. But if you do that every single day, like, I don't know, Ten days. That's that's 300 extra tokens. Like it, it adds up, guys. So if if you're either looking to have an easier time, maybe finishing the brawl pass, if you can only plan certain days, or uh, again, you're just looking to get more fame for some reason. It's just some weird exclusive thing. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh god, I lost like 400 trophies from the reset. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, they also. Last season, they reimbursed people for some weird glitch that happened, like we got even more free stuff. Again, there's a lot of good things that happened last season. I was happy last season. And I'm really, really looking forward to whatever the character masteries are going to be. And again, check out the video I'm going to leave in the link in the description, or if you just haven't seen Brawl Stars Brawlies, it's on their official channel. They put a weird amount of work into those videos. Like, they could easily just read off who won what, but then they do all this weird, like, stuff. It was, it was cool. Um, but yeah, I think that should end it off here. So, actually, I always forget the one other thing. So we'll do the quick pass check to make sure it's all the same. So... 8 on the Brawl Passes, 45 Chroma Credits, let's check last season. I believe they updated it to the new one, because it, the change happened during season 15, but as you can see, Chroma Credits and regular credits are there now. Yeah, so we have 45, so this season is the same as last season, except for the new skins and emotes and theme stuff. So, I, I thought last season was pretty good. Again... I, I think Mandy's super is going to be really interesting to play, and I really like the Gummy Bear Nita skin. So I, I think you guys should probably probably buy the season if you play the game, like, a pretty good amount, like, if you enjoy unlocking stuff. The Brawl Pass helps a lot. Again, you should really, in my opinion, you should really only ever get the Brawl Pass if you play the game a significant amount, because otherwise, if, like, if you're not finishing the Brawl Pass, I feel like it's kind of weird to buy and get, like, maybe some of the Mandy pins and not have it all. And, you know, if, if you don't care about finishing the pass and you want to get some extra wards, you know, that's cool too, but, you know, it's up to you guys, of course. I, I think it's worth it, just for that Nita skin, personally. Because it is so noticeably different. But otherwise, yeah. It's, I, I don't know if I'm a, the biggest fan of Mandy, but I'm going to love using that super. The, the regular attack is so-so, and the whole standing still thing is going to be weird, but it'll be something to get used to. So yeah, that, that's Candyland, guys. I, I'm really sorry for the delay at the start of the video, and this video has probably gone on for at least 30 minutes, but you know what? good and I'm looking forward to the future of Brawl Stars. The community is great, the developers are great. It's been a good year. So with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and if, well, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you look forward to more of my content on either Brawl Stars or any other weird game I cover. But I'm looking forward to the future of this channel. Good things should be coming at some point. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and let me know anything you want to in the comments. So, have a good day, and bye, guys.